hello everyone in today's video i am going to show you guys how to create this orthographic and perspective sectional drawings in revit with the help of section box the link to the previous video of camera settings is given in the description box but before we start let me remind you to like and share my videos leave a comment below and subscribe to my channel also if you have any difficulty or query related to revit you can ask me anytime so now let's start go to 3d view this is what our project looks like in 3d all of its sides are closed with the roof walls floor and we cannot see what is inside it so for that go to this properties box and select this section box from here now this rectangular 3d box appears here you can drag these arrows up to the desired position and that up to that part will be removed it will not be removed it will be kind of hidden so you cannot see it and the interior is now visible in the 3d view now i have this orthographic sectional drawing if you want to change this orthographic drawing to perspective drawing select perspective from here and now this sectional drawing is in perspective mode go to the right elevation drag this arrow to include the ceiling and roof in the drawing and now i have a sectional drawing in the perspective mode you can render it i'm just going to render it in a draft version so in If you want to add shadows in the perspective drawings or in the sectional box, uh, in the sectional drawings, you can on you can on those shadows from here and then render it to add these shadows in the drawing. You can also uh, take that perspective plan view, a plan section or the orthographic plan section by going to the top view. There is also one more very interesting thing in this um, section box that you can rotate it. You can rotate it from this little icon of rotation here. But I prefer to rotate it from here then adjust, then adjust its rotation point. I'm going to rotate it at an angle of 45 degree. Now I have, I can have that sectional drawing from this angled wall as well. If 
you can also cut the corner of the building with the help of rotation so that's all for today i hope you like this tutorial if you have any difficulty or query related to revit you can ask me anytime also if you want me to upload any specific tutorial just tell me and i will try to upload it as soon as possible i will continue from here in the next video that will be most probably be of rendering so stay tuned until then have a nice day and most importantly don't forget to like share and subscribe